The madman actually did it. They buffed Depth Guard and actually by a pretty significant amount too. Plus 700 HP and anti-infantry on top. A good start, but it doesn't end there either. The hunger heals 0.1 HP per second, which means with their increased HP, they're now healing 7 HP a second. And all Depth Guard costs 100 gold less now. But for a true test, we need to see how well they do versus other elite infantry. And oh my gosh, do they do well. Even without Invocation of Nahek, they're winning pretty handily and actually it seems like the dual weapons even without dedicated armor piercing do better than the halberds and for good measure let's also compare it to chosen great weapons and by the looks of it it seems like the dual weapons trade basically evenly against the chosen despite the chosen being much more expensive of course this is only a single test though and if the chosen get a proper charge the depth guard are still going to take a lot of damage but here's the thing that's using Depth Guard a lot less effectively than you should be. They work a lot better when supported by other infantry or other units of Depth Guard. And since their healing is constant, as long as they're in melee, if you can find a way to spread the damage over multiple units of Depth Guard, they're gonna be doing a lot better. And where they lost a 1v1 in an open field, they're now winning with a generous amount of extra HP left. And remember, this is 10 Chosen and Sigvald fighting on top of them. They're definitely a unit you want to be taking now the next time you play Vampire Coast.